Next up, please welcome Energy Elephant, hold on, hold on. presenting our Joe Borza and Aon O'Fergal. Aon O'Fergal. You never get the Irish names right, do you? <laughs> I try. Hi, I'm Joe, and this is Owen. Uh, we are Energy Elephant. Energy Elephant helps small and medium businesses understand, make better energy decisions by organizing and analyzing their energy data. Businesses are surrounded by energy data, but few of them use it. Uh, sorry, few of them use it. This makes it very difficult for them to make good energy choices. Meet Sean. Sean's the busy manager of O'Reilly's Irish pub. Sean's just gotten his recent, most uh, recent energy bill, and it's more than double what he was expecting. Like most people, Sean sees one thing, how much it costs. But what Sean doesn't realize is that his energy bill actually contains over 30 unique pieces of information, which can help him understand what he's using and what he's spending. Sean's not an energy expert, but like any good manager, he wants to understand why his costs have gone up so much. So he gets out his spreadsheets, gets out his bills, and spends a few hours trying to work out what he's spending. He ends up very frustrated and doesn't really know what's going on. So he gives up and he calls in a consultant. The consultant produces an energy report for him, which shows Sean how he can save by doing some simple actions, which he implements. Then the report sits on a shelf, and then 12 months later, his energy costs have gone up, and he's back to square one. This isn't just a problem for Sean. Energy is one of the top costs for small and medium businesses. In fact, every single day, businesses miss out on hundreds of opportunities to save money in this area. And it costs, in the UK alone, over 500 million just on the small business side. I know about this problem. I've worked as an engineer in the area of energy analytics for over a decade. I've worked at organizations like the World Bank, ConocoPhillips, and some national data agencies in the area of small businesses. What frustrated me most was that most business, large businesses organized and analyzed their energy data and managed it well, and paid less for it. But small and medium-sized users didn't, and ended up paying a lot more. Energy Elephant solves this problem by helping businesses build, visualize, and analyze their energy data. All they need is an energy bill. So moving to our demo, Sean has already created his account with us. He simply takes his most recent energy bill drags and drops them in, and all the data contained in those bills is extracted, organized, and analyzed. So, Sean moves to his dashboard, and the first thing he sees at the very top is his cost for the next five years. So over 150,000 for one small pub. This helps Sean make better investment decisions in the area of energy. He can focus in on his data in three primary categories, in cost, in the red, in consumption, in the blue, and in green for his carbon footprint. He can even drill down into the data in more detail on a month-by-month -month basis and compare it to how he previously performed the previous year. We can even show Sean how the weather is affecting his energy use. As we can see here on the, on the line, his energy usage spiked in May compared to the actual thermal temperatures. This means Sean was overheating his building we automatically pr uh, create insights that will warn Sean when this is happening to prevent it happening in the future. We combine Sean's data with external data sources to show him how he's performing against the best in class. So as we can see here, Sean is above the best in class line based on energy use per f uh, meter floor area, over 39% higher. This shows that there's an opportunity for Sean to reduce his energy consumption. Perhaps. Uh, we analyze all our users' uh, cost data to make sure that they're getting the best uh, prices in the market, and we compare it against other suppliers to see what opportunities for savings are available. As we can see here, Sean has a saving of over £5,000 just based on his electricity usage. Moving back to the slides. 
This is a big opportunity. Energy data analytics is still in its infancy, and with the rollout of smart meters, even larger data sets are going to become available. There's also new legislation coming out that ensures that every building in Europe will need an energy certificate of some sort. We'll be able to help produce these because we'll have all the energy data for these buildings already in our system. Anybody can use the Energy Elephant system for free if they have an energy bill. All they need to do is upload it. For our paying customers who want more ongoing and in-depth analysis, we charge us a fee of less than one pound per day per site. We also have an API for utilities and for energy professionals who love using this system for speed. We've been in private beta since the beginning of this year, and we've <laughs> lost our slides. <laughs> we've been in private beta for the, since the beginning of this year, and we've analysed the data from thousands of businesses from across the UK and Ireland. Most importantly, we've identified cost savings of an average of 15% for our paying customers. Helping them reduce their costs by thousands and reduce their environmental impacts. We're pleased today to be announcing our official launch at TechCrunch Disrupt. So, if you would like to discover the power of your energy data, please visit Energy Elephant today. Thank you. All right. Cheers. Great demo. <laughs> Judges. So, yeah, really interesting. Um, I'm going to dive straight into a, a business question. Fire away. So, you mentioned that the, um, this is going to cost your small business people one pound per site per day. Yeah. It feels though like you know, for big companies that have multiple sites, they probably have something on there. This feels like it's going to be very hard to scale when you're only charging companies like 30 quid a month. How does this become a really big business? Um, well, we, we have a, a higher level tier for more detailed ener energy analytics, and what that allows multiple site users, like you're talking about, like a hotel chain, is they can actually up upload all their data from all the smart meters that they have, because they're in much bigger sites, and they get much better insights into what they're actually using. Um, so it's more expensive, but the cost savings are, are usually much higher. A typical hotel might spend up to half a million a year, and that, that hotel might have less than 100 rooms. So it just shows you the scale of what they're paying. And so, and so what would those ho hotels be using right now, or is there really nothing available for them? Um, some of them would have installed uh, expensive submetering systems. Uh, what we found is that a lot of those systems are actually slightly inaccurate, and they don't tie into the billing systems. So they don't know what the cost date is. They assume the unit cost is X, and they multiply it across the year. So our, our system is probably better tailored towards the cost side of things for those uh, uh, businesses. Um, and there are some other very expensive submetering systems you can get, but we're, we're, we're more on the data side. We don't provide hardware. And what's the, what's the sales model? How do, you, how do you get into the client? Um, so currently, we've only recently launched, so we have been um, primarily scaling through word of mouth from most of our users. Um, we've also got a special niche where we're targeting the energy professionals. So guys who are already going out and doing some of these energy assessments, so they're actually using our tool to capture the data because instead of them spending a few hours on spreadsheets, creating graphs, it takes a few seconds. How do you get to them? Uh, there's published lists of every single energy assessor in Europe under EU legislation. Okay. And they have to be accessible. So it's just, it has their name and their email address, and we're contacting them through those lists. Diving further into competition, and I'm afraid I don't know enough about the energy industry, but I would assume that folks that are, or energy companies that are using smart meters with their customers, they would have these kind of measures and uh, uses of data in place already. Um, there aren't that many smart meters out there in Europe yet. Uh, they are being rolled out on, in, in a kind of a haphazard way, but they will be coming soon. Uh, the data that they show them is primarily uh, very kind of granular data, and it doesn't go near cost. They don't want to show them cost data because, for competitive reasons, they might be losing customers by showing them costs from alternative suppliers. So because we're impartial to the actual suppliers, uh, we can give better insights into what they can do on the cost side. Uh, on the consumption side, yes, we can, uh, there is a bit of overlap, but we also tie our system to the national grid datas, uh, data from, uh, so we can see what's happening live in a grid, whereas the systems, even by the biggest utilities, are quite basic, to be honest with you. So, so you're saying you're more neutral, and, and in that case, 
Um, if it's just an upload of people's energy bills and you're providing a layer of business intelligence on top of that, um, who are the other players out there that are already doing this? Um, there's a few others in the market. Uh, some focused on the consumer side, uh, so they're not quite in direct competition, but they're doing very similar things uh, like Opower. Um, Nest are obviously doing something with the energy data on yeah. the domestic side as well. We're not Nest. <laughs> but uh, on the actual uh, business side, it's a very disparate market. It's primarily just energy consultants doing this on a kind of a, a rolling basis. So you're going for the land grab right now? Exactly. Okay. Before the smart meters get out there and, and the data is available to everyone, because then there'll be a lot more companies moving into it. Okay. You, were t you were saying the, uh, the uh, cost saving for a particular uh, business would be 15%, am I correct? Yeah, on average. So what would be an app for, an, what is the average spending? So what does that equal? In um, so let's say for a typical pub, uh, they would spend 50,000 on their energy costs, and we could reduce that by 15%, uh, so it would be 15, uh, about 15, 7,000. Sorry, five. 7,000. 7,000, sorry. Okay. Um, it depends on the user. If the business has done nothing, that saving is very easy to uh, realize for them. If they've done a lot already, it's harder for us to pull and it back. And for the multi site, you were saying we could be uh, more effective if you integrate multi site? Are you yeah. still targeting? Is it just because the cost is bigger, or you think you can get it's, some other? It's partly because the cost is bigger, but it, you can also bring in things like uh, showing their usage against their competitor sites. Um, so it brings in a bit more competition on their side to try and see how they're uh, performing against each other. So it makes them more. Uh, it makes the data much more relevant to them when they see their peers on that kind of analysis. Any last quick question? I think we're good. All right, that was Energy Elephant. Good job, you guys. Thanks I like the elephant. Cheers. Thanks.